meantime, the White House announcing a new supply chain program this morning that is expected to help speed up delivery times and reduce consumer costs. That program is named Flow. It's a partnership between the Biden administration and 18 companies, including Target, True Value, Land O'Lakes, Albertsons, FedEx, UPS, and more. Joining us right now with the details is Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. And Mr. Secretary, how does this program work? So what we've found early on, ever since we've been working this supply chain issue, is there are some real gaps in how data is shared. You, you might assume that the different players in our supply chain know where everything is and where it's moving, when it's going to get there. But because there are so many different players, it doesn't actually work that way. And what we're finding is there are gaps in knowledge between the truckers, the warehouses, the ultimate owners of the cargo, the shippers, even different parts of the port within the same port. So Flow is a partnership with these private sector players that own or operate uh, the, the bulk of our supply chains to make sure more of that data is shared. So that, for example, uh, a trucker knows when a container is actually going to be ready so they don't have to spend hours waiting at a port gate for something that's not actually prepared for them to pick it up. Uh, knowing when chassis are available to load these containers onto. Knowing when the last day is to return a container so they could actually make the cutoff date for a ship before it sails. This is information that has generally been tightly held by companies, but we're not talking about proprietary information. There's actually a lot of benefit to all of the players that share it. These Private sector partners have stepped up. I'm going to be with them at the White House later on today, cementing this coalition and hopefully beginning to grow it, because we do think this will lead to smoother shipping, shorter times, and ultimately lower costs. Is it a software program that all of these companies agree to put that data into? Is it, I mean, is it something that a trucker can access using a mobile phone? Does he need a special uh, computer piece to, to make it all work? Yeah, it'll be a digital tool. You could think of it like a website, and uh, it's all voluntary, but the, the more folks participate in it, the more they get the benefit of it. In other words, it's sort of bring data to get data. Uh, we think that this kind of sharing is especially important uh, in order to fill in some of those inefficiencies that we've noticed. I mean, again, truckers is a classic example uh, where, you know, and partly because of how they're compensated, they're eating a lot of cost uh, from sitting idle because they're not ready for them at the warehouse or they're not ready for them at the port. Uh, same thing with the actual owners of the cargo. That's why you see folks like Target and, and Albertsons uh, on the list of companies that are participating. They don't always have visibility into what's in which container, which means they can't make decisions about which containers need to get to their warehouses more urgently. We can do something about that, but there's nobody who's been in a position to, uh, to create it. Uh, certainly nobody can uh, order that it's created. Again, these are mm -hmm. uh, private sector players, but enough of them see the benefits of it that they're joining this coalition led by the White House.